just like, that's how simple-minded hip-hop fans are these days. You know what I'm saying? New artist comes out and because you're fresh and you're new, you want to disrespect somebody that's iconic and pave the way. generation of artists that you've you know seen and worked with you see as you know being the next big one uh personally um a lot of, i mean people might not agree but um i really um i really like um i like meek mill i like him a lot um i think he got um I think he got a tremendous uh, amount of room for, for growth. Um, I listen to him, I listen to his freestyle, he's great at that. I listen to him when he's writing real songs and he's good at that. And so um, that's the person, um, that's the dude that I'm a champion. Him, um, as far as the East Coast is concerned, and um, in, the, in, the, in the West, it's gotta be Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Do you see yourself in any of these new rappers? Huh? Do you see yourself in any of these new rappers? Nope. No? Nah, they're not as handsome as me. Not as tall as me, you know what I'm saying? Not as lyrically insane as me. Nah, but they cool. Are you getting the feeling um, like wanting to retire at any point soon? Like, nah, I, I, I kind of like, but that's what Red is all about. It's about the rededication of myself to uh, hip hop, my fans, my life, my family, you know, my girl. I just, I'm trying to be the best that I can at everything that I love doing. So I'm, I'm here in hip hop as long as they have me. That's how I feel today. So, you know, the bipolar me it might change his mind tomorrow. Um, are you uh, are you doing any concepts for the next album already? Like the wheels turning yet? Uh, I think I got the, the the title of the next album yesterday from a good friend of mine, Shaheen Reed. Uh, we were talking and he said something that stuck in my mind. Uh, of course, I won't say what it is. Red ain't even in stores yet. But um, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna play around with the idea because it's uh, the. It's, and I'll tell you what it is. You know, because I respect you and you always look out for me at, or off camera. But I'm a. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to see if it's something that I can accomplish because the title in itself suggests that it's going to be conceptual and every need is going to have to be met for um, you know, for music to meet the title, so we'll see. Tell me a little bit about Kid Red. Um, Kid Red is the biggest star without a song on the internet. Um, and the reason that he ain't released nothing is because he's still trying to find his style. And, uh, and what I'm advising him to do is not get locked into a certain style because hip hop changes every day. So until then, I just got him listening to old, listening to new. I got him around when I do interviews. I got him around when I'm doing 106 Park, when I'm on MTV, when we're going to parties, when we're in clubs, when we're flying and doing shows. So that, um, you know, he's well rounded. And that uh, once he, you know, really decides to, you know, um, lock down on, on the style and the way that he's going to present himself to the world, that um, he's well traveled and, uh, you know, wise on, you know, just hip hop in general and how it works. And so um, he's a lot, a lot more comfortable and that way, you know, he can get a better start. Now, um, on Twitter a couple, like, months ago, or you put on. Um we don't work with New Jersey Devil, who's no longer yeah. part of Black Wall Street, was, um, but he's still repping red and everything. Is yeah, that yeah, nah, he, um, I had to um, refute that and um, take him back in. He was, he got caught up with some janky promoters, and one thing I don't deal with is, you know, my livelihood, my children, taking care of my family, and uh, he fucked up. So um, he, he spent every day since then, um, you know, paying that debt. And, um, you know, so, I mean, but he, you know, he one of the first members of Black Wall Street, and he also a friend of mine, I just was um, heated. So I had to bring the axe down to um, show him that I was serious, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it, it could have been something that would have, that could have lasted, you know, a long time, but he, he did what he could to uh, make it right, and, um, you know, he did his thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, with some of the producers that you're working with, um, what was it, what about um, working with Lex Luger on the album? And I know he's also going to be um, one of the interviews we're doing for your editorial yeah. and stuff. Um, Lex Luger's dope. He's the next best uh, hip hop producer, man. He he real dope. Um, him him along with um, with Boy Wonder and Mars are three of my favorite uh, new artists. Um, Boy Wonder going, you know what you're gonna get from him. It's going it's gonna hit and it's gonna hit hard. So shout out to him. I love everything he 